The roof box is on, so it must be time for a road trip. This year we're doing a staycation, so ourselves, Marie and Derek and Gavin and Caroline and Darcy, we're all going on the Shannon. We've got three separate boats and it's going to be really cool. I can't wait. So let's hit the road. So we're off. We've got these little walkie talkies to talk to each other. What did you say, Darcy? Swan up here. Roger that. Eliza, look at the swans. There. And as we're cruising along here now on our boat, Derek is right there. So that's Derek and Marie on their boat. And then right in front of us is Gavin and Caroline, right there. Do you ever get the feeling you're being watched? So what are you telling me about fishing? So that uh, you let it run for a minute and then when you think it's long enough you just go like that. Right. And then you start reeling in and you're like Wave. Day two on the Shannon. This is something that I've never done before. It's absolutely breathtaking. It's just a different way of life. Just the, everything slows down and you just cruise along. So you have no choice but to just take it easy. And it's beautiful, like the scenery all around. It's just gorgeous. We buried it last night in uh, Drumsna, which is a small uh, little place to pull in. And uh, we had some dinner, we lit the fire, we had a lovely evening. And then we went to bed and slept on the boats, which was fantastic. The kids are absolutely loving it. Ethan is fish mad anyway, uh, so anything to do with water he's crazy about. But just the excitement of going between our boat and the 
grandparents' boat and Gavin and Caroline's boat. And right now, they're behind us and they're fishing off the back of Gavin's boat. Where would you get it? So we're up now this morning and we're heading to Ruski. Let me give you a little tour of the boat. So you have your inside steering. You have one seat there, double seat there, little table that comes out. You can make a dining area here. Then just below, you have the kitchen, or the galley, as they're known on boats. Uh, so you have an oven, that's a gas oven and a grill, which is great. You have your four ring, you have your sink, and then you have a little fridge. This is the forward cabin. So Ethan is sleeping there. And Eliza is sleeping there. And then this goes here. And it makes this whole thing a double bed. And just beside that, you have one of two toilets. Little shower, sink, toilet. And then if we go back up here, you have the rear cabin, which has a double bed in it and its own ensuite toilet. So that's the double bed for me and Abigail. A little lounge area here, your mirror, wardrobe beside your bed, you have your own little ensuite bathroom. So this is the smallest of the boats that they do. This is a four berth one, but for us, myself, Abigail and the kids, it is absolutely perfect. And to be honest, I don't know if I would personally want a bigger boat because it's harder to drive it and it's harder to park it. So this one is absolutely perfect for us. And while I've been giving you the tour, Abigail has been driving. Life Gav, is it? Oh, this is the life. You're sitting back on your little pleasure cruiser now, strumming a few strings. Can't beat it. Just cruising along, 11 kilometers an hour at top speed. Nice. Near collision.
arriving now into Termin Barry, where we're going to tie up for the night and we're going to go for some food in a local pub. You play that song and you'll enjoy it. Play the song. This song is called. This world is full of anarchy. With people out there just trying to be free. Change without constraint voluntarily. Instead, we're slaves to the system and how it should be. The power's busy selling civil liberty. Some collective responsibility. My sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch. And it's knowing I'm not shackled by forgotten words of bonds. And he explains that he's trying to find some light. So we're setting off now, day three. It's a bit cloudier today, but it's still very warm. Hello. Hello. Say toodles. Toodles. So we've just come off the Shannon now. And this is the Clondra Canal, and it's gonna take us up to Richmond Bridge which is really different from being on the Shannon. It's much tighter, smaller. You just gotta go real slow. And Gav, give Caroline a kiss there. Got a picture. We'll make a good photo, just do it. It's a lovely little area here, Richmond Bridge, nice little marina and the Richmond Bridge Inn is here as well. So we're going to stop and have a little bit of lunch. Pulling out of Richmond Bridge we're going to do a little bit of off-roading and this is the Camlin River so it's a much smaller river than the River Shannon and they, they bring us on a loop around lots of twists and turns really tight take it nice and slow and it'll bring us back onto the River Shannon and then back up to Loch Forbes
Docking in Drumsa, Gavin ran into a bit of a problem with his boat that required a diver to be sent out to get under the boat. It turned out that there was a blue rope wrapped around his propeller that caused the problem. Fair play to Emerald Star for getting it sorted so quickly so we could uh, get back to enjoying our holiday. Do you, ever, do you ever wish you were born in Australia or somewhere warm? So we're docked in Drumsa for the night and it's time to get dinner on. We're each taking a turn in cooking and tonight's myself and Abigail's turn. So I'm going to start peeling all these potatoes. I'm going to set the barbecue up outside even though it's raining. Uh, and then uh, we're going to have steaks with potatoes, mashed potatoes, with uh, onions and mushrooms and pepper sauce. So here we go. This is my trusty barbecue fire pit that goes everywhere whenever we go camping, so I thought it'd be ideal for this. A charcoal, fire lighters, and then I'm gonna use this to get the briquettes nice and hot. So let's get the setup done. Charcoal in the top. Fire ladders in the bottom. We added some fluid on to help it get going. And then this should make them nice and red hot. So we can cook them. So the heat is concentrated within the rocks in this funnel that holds it all together. So you're gonna get your chair cold and heat faster. So have my steaks, my cover, chopping boards, everything most importantly disinfectant <laughs> here we go steaks are coming along well so we have these steaks kind of char grilled on the outside but these will be pink on the inside and if you're wondering where I'm cooking there and there's the boats side by side the weather's not great tonight so we set up a tarpaulin on the back of the boat to make a dining area. Let's check it out. Throw us over Poppy's lead. Look in the ovens. And oh, dinner is served. Um, Eliza's there, she's there. Hey there. You can come to us, but. Mm, magnificent.
Eliza is doing a great job helping her granddad in the lock. Eliza's on the front ropes. She's holding it tight there. And then her granddad's on the back ropes. Give me a thumbs up, Eliza. Small little shower at the coming there now. But nothing too major. It's already, as soon as I put the hood up, it's starting to stop. We're cruising along now on our way to Jamestown, where we're going to pull in and stop for a bit of lunch. So when you're driving this boat, you have your steering wheel, you have your power control here. We've so got forward, neutral, reverse. This here is our horn. And then this indicator here shows us where the rudder is at. So if we turn the wheel, you'll see it changing. So it's a good guide to know if you're which way you're steering. You've got your power here for how much throttle you have on. And that's all you need. Takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, Gavin and Derek had done it lots of times. I'd never done it before, so it uh, took maybe the first day to get used to it. When you're just cruising along, it's great, uh, very easy. But when you uh, getting into tight kind of spots, it's really less is more. The more, the, the slower you go, the more time you have to respond. Where if you try to go too fast, you're going to make a mistake. But uh, really enjoying it. Gin o'clock. Cheers up. Darcy. Look where you're going, Darcy. <laughs> now mind the cows.
He fell. He didn't help that you all started laughing your head off at the moment. <laughs> yeah. He was gone by the time we laughed. We all we laughed just briefly. Why is your coat right there? I don't know if you can see the changes that have come over me in these last few days. I've been afraid that I might drift away. I've been telling old stories, singing old songs that make me think about where I came from. And that's the reason why I seem so far away today let me tell you that i love you that i think about you all the time caledonia you're calling me and now i'm going home but if i should become a stranger you know that would make me more than sad Cause Caledonia, you're everything I ever had oh, I've been moved, I kept on moving I proved the points that needed proving I lost the friends, I needed losing Found others on the way Yeah, Caledonia, you're everything I ever had. Nope. Really? Good night.